Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Five tells the Ninth Circuit knows Trump will ultimately win immigration order. By Randy DeSoto. A California based trial attorney whose practice focuses on federal issues offered five tells in the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals ruling against President Donald Trump's immigration order that reveal the judge knows the president will ultimately win the legal fight. First and foremost, Robert Barnes wrote in a Law News op ed over the weekend the Ninth Circuit judges could not even cite the relevant statute at issue in their opinion. As reported by Western Journalism, that statute is 8 U.S.C. 1182 F, which grants the president authority, for the period of time he deems necessary, to suspend the entry of all aliens or any class of aliens as immigrants or non-immigrants, or impose on the entry of aliens any restrictions he may deem to be appropriate based on his determination their entry would be detrimental to the national interest. Trump also made note of the statute's absence in the judge's opinion on Twitter on Friday. Boston-based U.S. District Judge Nathaniel Gorton addressed the relevant statute and found in light of the plenary congressional power to make polices and rules for exclusion of aliens, which pursuant to 8 U.S.C. 1182 F, has been delegated to the president, the court concludes that the government's reasons, as provided in the executive order, are facially legitimate and bona fide. The court then ruled in Trump's favor. The second tell Barnes identifies is the court citing losing opinions to argue that those seeking to enter the United States have constitutional due process rights. The attorney notes that every major case on this issue found non-resident aliens and those seeking to travel to the country had no such protections. Rep. Thray Galley, RSC, who is a former federal prosecutor and currently serves on the House Judiciary Committee, raised the same issue in a statement last week. Writing, it seems clear to most of us, not on the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, there is no right to come to this country for non-citizens of the United States. The third tell, according to Barnes, is that none of the three judges sitting on the panel decided to take ownership of it by being listed as the author of the opinion. Instead, the judges issued a per curiam. Usually, such rulings are reserved for non-controversial issues, done more as a matter of course. They are often based on codified law or very established precedent. The fourth tell is that the Ninth Circuit does not cite most of the leading case law precedent. Gordon cited 200 plus years of precedent supporting Trump's order, while the Ninth Circuit ignored almost all of them, Barnes writes. In a trial, when you hide from all the other side's best evidence, it is a sign you know the other side is right, the attorney explained. The final tell is that another of the Ninth Circuit judges, not sitting on the three-judge panel making the decision, called for an end bank hearing of the matter. This means eleven judges, including the original three, will potentially rehear the case. Normally, one of the parties to the suit makes the request, not a judge. The Trump administration turned in its brief on Monday for the end bank review, and the states of Washington and Minnesota must have theirs in by this Thursday. Joe Miller, executive director of the United States Justice Foundation, told Western Journalism the Swaspindy request suggests that at least one Ninth Circuit judge understands that would-be immigrants who have never set foot in this country are not entitled to constitutional protections and is very disturbed by the tribunal's decision. Miller has practiced law in the Ninth Circuit for nearly 25 years and served as a federal magistrate judge in Alaska, which falls in the 9th's jurisdiction. I believe that the courts, by and large, have become unhinged from the rule of law," he observed. The Constitution has become a malleable instrument to give effect to their political agendas. Barnes concludes his piece, an old trial lawyer's adage goes, when the facts are on your side, pound the facts, when the law is on your side, pound the law, when neither law nor facts is on your side, pound the table. There was a lot of table pounding by the Ninth Circuit and that may be the biggest tell of all that they know they are wrong on the law, and Trump is right. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.